There are 81 reasons to fall in love with Turkey and number 43 is Kitaya. This is my breakfast. I like it. Francis Kaff. There it is. Woo! On my journey to visit all 81 cities in Turkey, I also made it to Kütahya, a province in western Turkey that is known for its unique porcelain art and its history that dates back to over 3000 BC. My first stop in Kütahya is a place that was home to one of the first settlers that used to live here. Let me show you the Phrygian Valley. <laughs> The Phrygian Valley is a huge area that covers parts in Eskishe here, Afyon and also here in Kütahya. Do I recommend coming all the way up here? Definitely not. Or maybe yes. <laughs> oh my god, it's exhausting. Just as in Cappadocia, these rock formations were used as homes by so-called Phrygians, which are Indo-Europeans who came all the way to this place, Anatolia. This place is a multi Story house. They definitely had the best view back then. And the best thing about this place is that you can just come here and make discoveries on your own. There's nobody telling you where to go, where not to go. You just have to follow the path of history. But you never know what you're going to discover. There might be a surprise waiting for you and that's a bit scary. I don't know, I just saw something moving. Oh my god. Oh, maybe it's a snake. <laughs> At this point, my camera did not record any sound, but here's a memory of how the conversation went. Merhaba, merhaba canım buyurun. Gözleme var mı? Tabi var. Alabiliyor muyum? Tabi, tabi. Tamam. Kütahya için. Meşhur, değil mi? Tabii, tamam. <gülüyor> Nasıl yapıyorsunuz? Gözleme böyle yağlıyoruz. Hı hı. Ondan sonra haşişliyoruz. Haşişlikten sonra böyle yazıyoruz. Hı hı. Ondan sonra ucağı atıyoruz. Ha, çok iyi. Evet. <gülüyor> Adınız ne? Nazife. Nazife. Evet. Nazife hanı, hanım. Evet. Şimdi gözleme ev yap. F gözlemesi. F gözlemesi. Evet. Yapıyorsun. Evet. Çok iyi, çok heyecanlıyım. Evet. <gülüyor> Hadi. <gülüyor> ben de sizinle tanıştığım için yani mutluyum. Ben de çok mutluyum. Tamam. Gerçekten. Evet. Çok evet. gözleme yemek istiyorum. Tamam. <gülüyor> gözleme içerinde bir şey var mı? Var. Ne var? Ayran, kola. Ondan sonra meyve şişesi. Ha. Kolası. Tamam. Bunlar var. Dolapta. Kütahya nasıl bir yer? Çok güzel. Güzel mi? Bizim için iyi, güzel. <gülüyor> evet. Teşekkürler. Sağ ol. Ve bir ayran alıyorum. Çok güzel konuşuyorsun. Yani deniyorum. Kütahya'da ne var? Çini, Çini le var. Evet. Teşekkürler. Turşu mu? Evet. Gözleme ve turşu Güzel. biliyorsunuz. Aynen. Gerçekten. Gerçekten. Çok güzel olur. Çok ilginç yani. Evet. <gülüyor> And I came to a very small place that actually makes gözleme. Evet, yiğit gözleme. Yiğit gözleme. Evet. Tamam. It's very different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So pleasantly. Ellerine sağlık. Sağ ol. So this gözleme is handmade by Nazi Hanım. Nazi, değil mi? Senin adınız ne? Nazife. Nazife. Evet. Made by Nazife. Evet. On numara. Sizin isminiz? Ben Francisca. Matis? Franziska. Franziska. Ben bilemedim. 
Franziska. Franziska. Einen, der Tucki. Komm mal, Franziska. Er wird Franziska. I'm actually extremely full. I don't know how I can finish all of this, but I don't want to disappoint her. So I guess I just have to eat it all of this. And this one is filled with potatoes. Ah, gerçekten. Adı ne? Şükrü. Şükrü. Evet. Ah, güzel bir adı. Evet, şükrü. Şükrü ne demek? Ne bileyim, şükür. Ha, şükür. Şükür, şükür. Şükür, şükür. Şükür demek. Ah. Yani Allah'ıma çok şükür. Hmm, çok iyiyim. Evet. Nereye gide git gitmeliyim? Nereye? Ben. Sen. Evet. Müzeye geldiniz mi müzelere? Müzele yok. Şimdi Gelmedin. kapalı ama 10 dakika sonra geri gidiyorum. Gidiyor. Yani Çin'in müzesi gideceğim. He, aha Çin'in müzesi şurada. Orada. Evet. <gülüyor> evet. Ne kadar? Hayır, ne kadar? Hayır. Hayır. Hayır. Hayır. Lütfen. Benden. Geçin. Hayır. Olmaz. Hayır. Gerçekten. Evet. Hadi görüşürüz. Görüşürüz. Hayır, olmaz. Olmaz. Görüşürüz. Görüşürüz. This is the Chini Museum of Kütahya. And to be honest, in the beginning I thought it's Chin, like Chinese. I thought there is a Chinese mosque, Chinli Mosque, Chinli Jami, and Chini Musesi. It's free to enter inside. Yay! Chini means tiles and Chinli means Chinese. I got super confused. I was like, hey, why is Kitachia connected to Chinese? But now I figured it out. This museum is full of tiles. It tells the history. There are tiles from like hundreds of years ago. And also there is the grave of Ya Yukaban. Merhaba, bir şey sorabilir miyim? Cami içeri girebilir miyim? Girebilirsin. Şimdi mi? İstediğin zaman girebilirsin. So behind me you can see the Ulu Cami of Kütahya. It's not only the most beautiful, but also the biggest mosque here in Kütahya. It was built in the... It was built in the 14th century during the Byzantine time. It's the only Sultan Mosque in Kütahya and it took 29 years to complete it. It's quite an impressive building with large columns inside the mosque that were brought from the ancient city of Aizanoi. So I'm at a breakfast place now, it's called Papion and I ordered a Papion breakfast. I don't really know what that is or if that's even special for Kütahya but I think it looks extremely interesting. So I got three pide. How am I supposed to eat this all by myself? I really don't know. And we have balu? I don't know, how should I eat the, the balu with the bal? I don't know. Very interesting, I've never seen this before in my life. So we have spinach and cheese inside. Hmm, yeah, mm, mm. it's pide. Nani kapalu pide too. Pide in Kutahi is actually very special. Mm, it's really good. This is my breakfast, I like it. In Germany we would never ever eat such heavy breakfast. It's heavy but it's good. Yeah, it's good. This is the most beautiful street in Kütahya, the Germian Sokal. The Germian Sokal in the city center of Kütahya is a place that kept its historical charm from the 19th century. Also UNESCO gave Kütahya the name creative city and lots of historical mansions from the Ottoman time, art centers, workshops and museums make this part the most interesting one of the city. These houses were actually used by the Germian tribe and they have beautiful architecture. 
So in the middle of the city there is a big boulevard where you can walk all the way up to the main square. I've never seen this but here we have a charging station for wheelchairs and also you can charge your phone. Wow, that's amazing. A bebek bakum be emzirmek kabini. So a baby care and breastfeeding cabin in the middle of the city. I think that's awesome. This is the Kossuth house, which actually means translated the Hungarian house. It's in the Hungarian street here in Kütahya. And why is it called Hungarian house? Because this was the house where one of the most important Hungarian politicians of the 18th, 19th century lived. And his name was Lachos Kossuth. He used to live here for one year in 1850 to 51 with his family. So this was the room of Kossuth where he actually worked and studied. Beautiful. Everything made out of wood. Kossuth was one of the leaders of the Hungarian War of Independence and he looked for exile and actually found it right here in Kütahya in this house. Kossuth prepared the draft of the Hungarian constitution right here in this two-story seven-room wooden house. And right here we can see the bedroom which I think looks pretty cozy. Wow, look at this bed and the decorations, nice floor. This museum is very authentic because most of the things here are still original and actually belongings of Kossuth from 1850. So you can see the living room of the Kossuth family and how the woman dressed in the early 19th century. Pretty noble. I wasn't quite sure if I should come here, but actually it's an amazing place. Also the entrance is for free. So it's a really, really nice place. It's very calm here and super interesting actually to look at all these rooms and to imagine how Kossuth must have lived here in 1850. So I found another entrance to the castle from here. They told me Korkma, so I will not be afraid to go up. I'm trying my best to get up. It's so difficult. Why? I thought it's like a main tourist attraction. Why do they make it so difficult to go up? It's so hot. I don't even have water with me. I'm going to die. Die Kat Köpekwa. I, I really don't want to meet any Köpek. So this castle was actually built in the Byzantine time in the 5th century. It lies on top of a hill. It was very important back then and of course you have a beautiful view over Kütahya city. Also the Germanids and the Ottomans also used this castle as a fortress to protect themselves. Being in such a historical place is something very special. I'm now in the antique city of Aizanoi and I just arrived, they gave me this huge map and as you can see it's quite a big area, it was not that easy to get here to be honest, it was a little bit confusing. Here this area is the best preserved 
Zeus Temple in Anatolia. It's around 50 kilometers from Kütahya, close to the city Chafdar Hisar. And the research that have been carried out here in the Aizanoi city was of course made by Germans, by the German Archaeological Institute. So there's basically the Zeus Temple, there is a mosaic bath, which is unfortunately closed because of the pandemic. And also there is a huge amphitheater and a stadium. So there was a mythical hero called Azan. He was like the forefather of the Phrygians, you know the story, and he used to be here. That's why this city is called Aizanoi. It was the capital of Aizanitis, which also belonged to Phrygia. Okay, enough talking, let's go explore. <laughs> So this is the Aizanoi Zeus Temple and oh my god, I didn't expect it to be that impressive. I'm impressed. Get checked then. Anyways, you can see how well preserved this temple is. You can even see the whole structure of this temple. You can even see like where the altar must have been because this was also like a holy place, like a religious place. And at the side of the temple there is like a excavation so you can see all the stones that have been found here. The Aizanoi Zeus temple will meet your expectations or even I'm right now in the middle of a stadium and amphitheater complex. This amphitheater could hold up to 20,000 people and the stadium more than 13,000 people. It's a huge area that you can explore here. Welcome to Francis Food Review. I came to one of the most popular <laughs> restaurants in Kitaria, which is Fesslen. Bune? Rehan Sherbe. Rehan Sherbe. Rehan Sherbe. Sherbet. Ha, Tama, Tashekule. So we got Rehan Sherbet. Uh, I think I tasted this in Bursa already and it tastes wonderful. They give you like appetizers, it's like Meze. And it's so different than what I'm used to in Germany because in Germany we don't have like this concept of getting free stuff before the main course so we basically don't have appetizers in general in German restaurants. I ordered Kitachia Mantisse which is so special for Kitachia and of course I cannot leave Kitachia without eating Mantisse here. That's the best thing ever. <laughs> Perfect. Afsane. <laughs> Wo merkt ihr mehr Klimantes? Yes. Ah, Chocolat. Okay, so the special thing about Mante in Kütahia is that it's actually Merchi Mekli Mantis, which is like weird. Like I only know Merchi Mek Chobasse, so yeah, that's something new to me. Afiroso. It looks a little bit different than the Kaiseri Mante. The Mante here is actually like open. And we have the yogurt on top of it with like matchy mag kind of sauce. Mmm, wow, very delicious. It's very, very good. Mmm, the meat is very strong. I'm still not sure if this is actually matchy mag chowbasa inside of it. It's very good. Mmm. See you next time in...